to your answer whether it goes along with the wrong tonight. No, the opposition make you go wrong. Uh, I, I've got. I think es there's no doubt Essendon are a very, very talented football side and a very good football side. And tonight we we allow them to play without with relative ease, and that, and that is. Uh, it's really it's embarrassing for our football clubs. Embarrassing. We're embarrassed about our performance. There's no question about that. Ha where you nail it, where do you say it? Well, it's it's at the end of the day. Essendon totally outworked us. And I didn't see it coming. I've got to say, I'm, I was a million miles off that. There's only one salvation, we play in six days. If there's any one good thing, it's a shorter period between now and next week. Because there's nothing else we can take from that game. Especially after the improvement you showed against Richmond, how do you set that? Well, as I say, I, I, I can generally pick moods and which, you know, it's been a long haul between the Thursday week ago to today, and we purposely made sure that by we didn't sort of start to play the game too early because it's a trap. We made sure we closed the, the days off to get ready for a week performance as opposed to a 10-day performance. Um, and, and I certainly wouldn't have been. As I say, I can sometimes I can feel a not a good day or a, a few players might be just off but I certainly wouldn't have picked this one that's 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 a learning curve for us all I guess sorry I didn't really catch any of that what well, do, do you regard it as when you say it didn't see it coming to that extent do you think that case it's a one-off? You hope it's a one-off? Oh. I pray it's a one-off. I just hope it's a one-off. I mean, if, that, if that's the sort of stuff we're going to dish up, we're, we're, it'd be miserable, it's a miserable year in front of us. I, I am loathe to think that, that we could actually dish that up again. I, I don't think we should take anything away from Essen, but we didn't put pressure on Essen. And, and again, we didn't put two or three shots in the first quarter. We're all kickable. We didn't, and we took none. Took none of them. You know, there is a responsibility, particularly by senior players, that when the ball's in your hands, you take that responsibility. And we're not doing it. How many of the 22 did you think will pull over? Well, I'm battling. I'll show you how good I'm going. I've got the reserves game here. I've left the other one in with, in with the play group, who are now having a chat about the game. So I haven't even got the stats. They're in there. I'm looking at the seconds ones here. Um, off the cuff, I wouldn't have thought anyone was really could could not no one could have been satisfied with their game. No one could have been satisfied with their game. Some players may have been satisfied with their effort. A very few players would have been satisfied that they gave a hundred percent for a hundred percent of the night, regardless of how many possessions they had or what they what they did. But uh, you know, I, I don't like in this circumstance or these circumstances, picking a, a player, either off, off, uh, def, um, negatively or positively. So let's just say that, it, that two or three players perhaps would say, well, I gave everything. May have not a trouble. Well, I know one of, them, one of them hit the scoreboard, but some of them didn't, but they were still having a crack. So that, that, that's, a, that's an indictment. I understand that there's... There's going to be a lot of players that would hopefully come out of that meeting when they have their own meeting, come out of it and say that they need to assess where they're at as footballers and let's do something about it. As I say, for six days to turn something around. What do you do in those six days? Uh, well, I'll go. I, as I say, I haven't planned for it. So uh, no doubt during the evening I'll uh, have a close think about what we're going to do. Outside of the normal things that you would do in six days, get yourself ready for next in six days' time. I think the players don't even talk about now, separately from here, is that unorthodox? Um, is that unorthodox? No, I've already spoken, and I think it'd be fair to say not not a lot of time, but they, they know how I feel about the game. And I guess in, in their mind, they couldn't let that. They couldn't walk out without them having a having a, 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 a heart to heart. Well, I think it's I think it's it's a 
I'd be very disappointed if they had not done that. Bitterly disappointed. This is not the first time. I've coached long enough to know that these sort of meetings can take place after a good victory and after a poor loss. It's, a, it's, a, it's not a redemption, but what it is is at least it's enough thought goes into thinking that we can't accept this and we're going to do something about it. Hopefully they'll come out with some solid recommendations that they need to, or we need to as a group, get together and work towards. What do you make of Warwick's performance? Big one. Warwick's performance. Warwick, Robbie Warwick. I'm not going to talk about individuals. As I just said to you, I'm not going to start to talk about individuals. Just one last one. You said you didn't finish after the reserves. Paddy Cripps had 34. Oh, yeah, well, and, and I haven't got my glasses either. <laughs> OK, so you're telling me? I haven't seen them. I can, and even if I did, I, I need another three yards on my arm to read these. OK. Thanks, guys.